Hey everyone, it's Pearlice and Toys back in today's video with another WWE Ultimate Edition action figure review. Today we're looking at Asuka, the Empress of Tomorrow. Yeah, here's the sign with the um, name and then there's the art. Here's the back of the box. The Empress of Tomorrow tapped into an inner darkness upon making her return at Royal Rumble 2023. Any humanity left in Asuka was replaced by a sadistic superstar with a sinister smile, ready to spray blinding blue mist in the face of unsuspecting opponents. No, there we go. The Empress of Tomorrow. And here is... And here is Asuka out of the packaging, and I am just so incredibly in love with this figure. First of all, this robe, I just had to like show it off first because just like how amazing this thing looks i um i also like the reason why i made like seth rollins my favorite figure of last year my favorite wwe ultimate figure um was mostly due to that you know roby had it looked so immaculate the detail and this one i would say tops that seth rollins you know what, let's um where is he? is he off to the side yes he is let's bring him into it and yeah you can see like the robe game at Mattel has just been on point lately. I like their entrance coats are just so well done. I love this one, but I think I'm liking Asuka's just a little more. And yeah, it mostly has to do with that. All those like Japanese designs on the back right here, just going all throughout. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. And this bit of fur up here, Oh man, the whole thing is just truly wonderful. She also comes with this Oni mask, which I just feel like is also incredible. I love the pink and the blue right here. It's like very reminiscent of Asuka after she made her main roster debut. That's kind of the hair color I'm getting from this. Uh, you know, and as we... uh. We'll find out later, you know, out with the old and with the new. It's very fitting for this newer version of Asuka, you know. And just the paint and the mask. And again, like those Japanese and that Japanese inspired uh, design to her ring gear or entrance attire is just on point. It is so phenomenal. And I love all the black lines going all throughout. Kind of makes it look like a like a sketch, like a um, like a drawing. And those golden eyes right there and the bread in the mouth and the teeth. Oh, everything just comes together so good. Uh, my only thing is that it kind of stops halfway through. As you can see, you can just see the rest of her head right there. I'm not sure if the masks like do that in real life. I'm pretty sure there's like, I don't know. I might be tripping, but um, now one thing that, and, and this is not like a complaint about the figure itself i it might be just like the design of the entrance attire in real life but it just like abruptly ends like halfway across her head so you're just left with this um so yeah it doesn't really make uh posing it from the side very viable you can only really do it from the front but still it's just an amazing piece and here's a look at that entrance robe one last time before i take it off <laughs> you know <laughs> and here's a look at that entrance robe one last time from the back and from the front again just beautiful absolutely breathtaking and here's osco out of all that entrance gear the no mask and the entrance robe and it's just wow it is it's i can't even put into words just how breathtaking this sculpt is it looks exactly like her it's a spitting image of asuka in real life it's perfect honest hmm. uh, okay. <clears throat> focus focus you know there's also some detail going all throughout the attire you know you get those laces printed on or painted on um and you also get this part right here in the foot too these bits are raised and she gets knee pads Ooh, those look great as well again Painted on laces, mm, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess. I know a lot of money went into tooling that brand new entrance robe, so I can't really be too mad at some of the corners that were cut. <laughs> um, but going up, and I 
yeah, these laces up here are sculpted on. Um, very, very nice. This painted on. <laughs> hmm. She also comes with this belt and this sash going down the side. And going up to that. <laughs> oh, my God. Going up to her um, bra? Bra? Is that safe to say? Am I... Am I, say, am I good to say that? Okay. Um, sure. Whatever. Her bra. Um, yeah, these parts up here are sculpted on. And yeah, you could. <laughs> I. Okay, guys, please don't judge me. I'm not being pervy. I just want to see if this painted on bit is um, sculpted or just. <laughs> you know, I'm going to do it off camera. Okay. After creepily petting um, her breasts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I can confirm. These little bits are sculpted on. The red, that blue, the, this other red, and the gold right here. Those are all sculpted on bits. And that's just, you know, it's great. It's wonderful. Um, especially since, like, oh, down here, you can get a whole lot of sculpting down below the legs. It's good to see that it's in full effect up here on the upper torso. And right on the back too like all these little bits that you see are sculpted on just phenomenal and on this side you have this little armband and it, there's a line connecting all the rings to each other so they won't go all loose and all over the place the wrist tape is painted on and it seems that they kind of missed the mark on this hand right here unfortunately she has this little a choker accessory which is able to come on and off so if you just don't want it on there you can take it off but yeah it is also wonderfully sculpted you can see like little tiny like patterns on that gold bit right there very good that looks like it's going to be a problem for neck articulation yeah i think it would be very difficult to make an oscar figure that didn't look like her you know her in this like attire this version of oscar like it'd be incredibly difficult to make a figure that just m completely missed the mark on in terms of likeness uh yeah in here you see it i mean it looks like her yeah i mean yeah no i think the f face sculpt is phenomenal the paint apps here are just great especially on the hair like wow I love the transition from pink to blue. It looks seamless. And they have sort of like a metallic, like magenta color back here. It looks so wonderful. And yeah, going back to that face sculpt, um, it's not bad. Like it actually really looks like her, even though she's like, has it all that face paint caked on. Like I can still see Asuka underneath. It is mighty impressive Ooh, she even got an earring okay uh, why did i do that ah yes what wwe ultimate edition figure would be complete without a goofy ah uh, head sculpt we've gotten it with edge with rob van dam and now with asuka kind of yeah this is sort of their version of like their super dynamic face sculpt that they usually include with a lot of WWE Ultimate figures. You know, um, I won't say, I I'll say this. This one is not bad. It is, I feel like I've been saying that a lot. It's not bad. It's actually good. But no, this one is great. I love uh, the utilization of this. Like it's, you're going to be able to utilize this in a lot of different settings this, of course, is her after she sprays the mist. You can see it like down here compared to the, or, you know, normal head sculpt. And yeah, you can see like the blue mist going down here a little bit. That's really like the only difference between the two heads is that this one has blue underneath the smile and the teeth and the inside of the mouth are darker. Uh, teeth, of course, being blue. I love that attention to detail. In terms of goofy ah head sculpts, I would place this closer to like Brock Lesnar and Seth Rollins as opposed to, you know, the cursed ones. She also comes with two opened hands and two C-grip hands. 
So yeah, that's it in terms of accessories. Those two heads, the two hands, the no mask, and her entrance robe. So yeah, as I discovered earlier, there is absolutely no room for that little barbell joint to go, or dumbbell joint, to go anywhere. So in terms of head articulation, the most you're going to go up is this, and down, not at all. There's absolutely no movement up or down, very disappointing. And side to side movement, I mean like pivot, nothing. All you get is a little bit of side to side, and that's about it. Her arm is able to move this far up. She's able to go this far back and this far forward. Yeah, the butterfly jo shoulder joint, man, that's pretty disappointing. I'm thinking maybe it's like a Marvel Legends situation where the peg for the arm is kind of getting in the way of it being able to move back even further. Oh, uh, even further, you know. Um, yeah, uh, I'll have to see if I can mod that. But yeah, she has shoulder rotation and upper bicep swivel and a double jointed pinless elbow. Very wonderful. And she has a standard Mattel wrist hinge going up, down, all around. And it's the same for the other hand. And in terms of articulation for this arm, the armband doesn't really inhibit any of that. So that's good to see. She's able to bend this far back, this far forward. She has some pivot right there in the mid abdomen and ooh, a little bit of rotation. Uh, but yeah, she has a waist swivel right there. Her leg kicks out this much, goes out to the side that much, goes back a decent amount. Her leg is able to drop down and she has upper thigh swivel, a double jointed knee. The knee pad gets in the way a little bit right there. And her foot is able to bend this far down, this far up. She has a toe articulation and a tiny bit of... Now on to the size comparisons. Here she is next to Bianca Belair and AJ Styles. Seth freaking Rollins and Randy Orton. Jimmy and Jay Uso. Eddie Guerrero and Shawn Michaels. The Marvel Legends Spider Hams. And last but not least, Gary the Stormtrooper. Whoa, Oscar. I'm a huge fan of yours. Like, can I can I get an autograph? Ooh. Oh man, now it's time for my final rating and my overall thoughts. And like, I've been like deliberating on this final rating for um, a few minutes now. Just like thinking, man, I'm just stuck between two numbers. But I think I'm gonna give her um, and oh god. It's just so hard. A 9 out of 10. I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10. Um, of course, the articulation of this figure is, you know, leaves a lot to be desired. Especially in the abdomen, the butterfly shoulder joints. And, of course, that neck and head. Uh, it just, like, there's absolutely no movement there. Um, barely any movement in the, the, at the diaphragm joint. And the butterfly shoulder joint could have been better. Um, I'm just glad though that we're finally getting them for the female figures uh, yeah like i feel like the good of this figure outweighs the bad and just based on the figure alone i would probably give it an 8 out of 10 but with that beautiful beautiful entrance robe that kimono whatever you want to call it it's um i just had to bump it up to a 9 out of 10 just because of how great that entrance gear is the mask too just both phenomenal pieces. But yeah, that'll do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Anything you can do that'll support the channel be greatly appreciated. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.